When I woke up today, it was normal. I was still a bit shaken from yesterday's Star Wars Episode 9 trailer, but besides that, nothing was going on. I went on YouTube, checked out trending, and wham, it hit me like a brick. A new Star Wars game that just got announced. So, uh, I recorded me watching the trailer. Wasn't always like this. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's made by EA and Respawn, and, um... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But now, there are three rules to survive. Don't stand out. Except the past. So it seems like this guy's just trying to live a normal life after the Empire took over. Getting a job, making friends and whatnot, along with uh, staying hidden. Trust. No one. So that shot right there, actually I'll rewind a little bit, that's one of the uh, Republic's ships and got taken down because of the rise of the Empire and it seems like our protagonist, the Jedi dude, is working with the Empire to stay undercover. Changed. Oh damn, so it seems like his friend is dying and then Cal reached with the force to try and save him and there was an Empire droid watching him, so that's not very good. Not at all. Okay, I gotta admit, that trailer was pretty sick. And going back to what I said earlier about EA, I genuinely think this could be a great game if they really just keep it a story-based single-player game and uh, stay away from <coughs> this. Also, Respawn is a pretty great company, making titles like Titanfall, so I think this game could be really amazing. After seeing this trailer, I, like this game has some potential. God damn. And I believe God of War 3's director is also the director for this game, so just envision God of War 3's single player narrative, just amazing story, but it's Star Wars. So I'm super hyped for this game, and uh, thanks for watching, but please, 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 EA and Respawn, don't mess this up.